they're sentient beings. We just talked about a spork having existential crisis. <laughs> so for God's sakes, why can't a transformer find love? That's as they conceive of it. You know, people are like, oh, in the article, it's really great. It breaks down. It's like, oh, well, people usually conceive of love to to make love so they can make children. It's that it's that you know in you know instinctual primal thing. But with transformers, it's different. So it's companionship, right? Mm -hmm. You could argue that most of the relationships between transformers and humans are based out of love mm -hmm. because of their friendship, and so that. That's inherent involved. So if you move it into a romantic thing, why can't you have a male female or male male or female female relationship that is based in love? Why not? It, it's in the terminology of Transformers, then the canon called spark mates. That's what they're called when they find each other. So that has happened in the lore of Transformers. So for me personally, I love this idea. I'm sorry, I'm gonna obsess over this other thing a little more. <laughs> as, my, as much as uh, you wanna know what Haley's pitch question, yeah. the thing I want more than anything is I just wanna see like what her reaction was when he started talking about robot relationships and was basically like, not kissing and not sex. <laughs> but does this, like has this happened to a certain extent in yeah. Transformers? Like what, what happens when someone meets their spark mate? Yeah, that, that's what happens. They end up having a relationship that it becomes like you would see a normal human relationship become. I mean, Transformers are written with human characteristics from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So naturally, why wouldn't they have so human connections? So do like, they go off together and raise a family? No, Is no, it no, that no. traditional? You can't have a family, right? Because you you can't reproduce, mm -hmm. but you can be have a relationship and you protect <laughs> each other and you fight each other and you go and you build a relationship with each other. I this is know. like if Transformers, Transformers sex ed this with John Yeah, I know. I'm fascinated. I'm like, Listen, I don't know if Transformers can make for life. I don't know. Yeah, they're, like they're like seahorses. They're like seahorses. Can you believe that? For life. For life. Oh. Uh, but so, but to me, this, this all around, this is such an interesting avenue to go. And I guarantee you, they're not going to necessarily go in this avenue in the second film. But they certainly... I love that they are thinking about expanding the approach to these Transformers down the road and giving them relationships. Why not a female Transformer, a male Transformer, or, you know, a male, male, female, female. It'd be fun to see in a film, I think, and fun to explore. I hope they adopt little motorcycles and we find out what little baby Transformers. For me, it's, it's fascinating because they're going the direction that hadn't worked for them for a few movies and they're combining it with the direction that financially didn't work for them, but they saw the heart in it. I yeah. loved Bumblebee personally. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a roaring success. Whether or not it was financially didn't determine the fate of the film for me. For me, that's the direction I wanted Transformers to go. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting, I just hope it doesn't, I hope the kickback isn't so strong that the word mayhem becomes a trigger. Mm -hmm. I hope the kickback isn't so strong we get something that's not like, I think 60-40 Bumblebee, 40 Bay would be the movie. Move. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that they're bringing up sex and kissing and stuff now means making them more human. And I think the technology is advanced enough that you can see more emotion. You can do the Wally sure. thing. You can Absolutely. do like because Wally has more emotion than most movies mm -hmm. and they're robots. Mm -hmm. So if they can make the CGI work where they have those relationships, and I yeah. do agree, like Shia LaBeouf and Optimus Prime's, that was love. Mm -hmm. It wasn't romantic love, but there was love there. And Bumblebee with Haley Steinfeld, that was certainly love. Yeah. So I would love to attempt that I just hope it doesn't become a focus where it would be distracting where it's like ah the family transformers film where the humans are secondary and they're poorly written and let's go gallivanting with the family optimists like that's not what transformers are to me yeah so I'm really curious how they balance those scales because that's a really interesting subplot